the usual starters on this club, Austin Howell will not play this afternoon. The six foot sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia, she will not dress and she will be not in the game this afternoon for Case. So the Case ladies are ready to tip off with the Carnegie Mellon ladies. Case will wear the gold uniforms of Mather College, the all women's college that merged with Case and today we know it is Case Western Reserve University. Carnegie Mellon will wear the Cardinal trimmed in black and gray and white. Carnegie Mellon wins the opening tip and they will control the ball on offense and they throw it out of bounds into the Case bench and the Spartans will get the basketball to start their first possession of the afternoon. Ashley Tonda will bring it up, the talented point guard for Case. She will direct that Spartans offense. Case comes out four wide, Tonda will dribble right side. Gets it into Caitlin Henry, Henry's tied up inside by Alex Hansen. And we've got a whistle and a foul, the foul will go against Hansen and that will be her first foul and Case will have the basketball out underneath her own basket. Tondo will inbound it for Case. Tondo looking, looking, gets it into Caitlin Henry in the right corner. Henry left hand dribble, pulls up her dribble. Hansen's all over, top of the key now to Tondo. Tondo right hand dribble with Allie Unkst on her. Pass inside to Atkins, kicks it out to Hollinger, the freshman three in the air, short. Tondo comes down the rebound for Case. Ashley Tondo brings it out near half court. Just underway here, 45 seconds into this game. Unkst on her. Tondo gets a screen. Unkst almost steals it. To the foul line, to Hollinger. Try to get it inside to Atkins. Ball's taken away. Here comes Carnegie Mellon. Stacy Aleski with the basketball for the Tartans. Aleski goes right side to Hanson. Hanson pulls up her dribble top of the key to Unkst. Unkst between the circles with Caitlin Henry on her. Atkins picks up the double team. Off to Aleski, Aleski dribbles in, draws the defense, dishes it out to Hanson, an 18-footer up and in. Alex Hanson with two points, Carnegie Mellon up 2-0. Ashley Tonda will bring the basketball up for Case. Carnegie Mellon coming into this game with a loss in Atlanta on Friday night, 78-73 to Emory. Case checks into this game with a loss at home, 63-51 to Rochester. Aaron Hollinger dribbles in, crosses the lane, pulls up from six feet, misses it. Stacey Aleski down with a rebound. Quickly down for Carnegie Mellon. They work at right wing. Colleen Light shot in the air, missed it. Long rebound back out to Unkst. Allie Unkst controls it for Carnegie Mellon. Clears it out between the circles to Hansen. They're going to swing it left side to Colleen Light with Hollinger on her. Light with a nice fake to the right, draws left, puts up a layup, missed it, but she drew the foul. Carnegie Mellon showing some quickness on the offense of Enron. Moving the basketball, moving without the basketball, creating opportunities. Fouls on Hollinger, that will be her first. Lights at the foul line, she'll shoot two. First one's up and it's good. Colleen Light on the season, a 68% free throw shooter. Second free throw's up, missed it, ball's loose. Coming up with the loose ball is Carnegie Mellon. Rochelle Roll. Threw it off Kristen Atkins' ankle. And the Tartans will keep it 27 seconds on the shot clock. Unkst inbounds the ball to Stacey Aleski. Aleski ball above her head with Tondo on her. Aleski now on that left wing. is going to throw up a three. It's short. And the ball goes out of bounds, and Case will get it back. It's 3-0 Carnegie Mellon early on. Tartans may be 0-6 Ed, in UAA play, but they've actually played very well this year. Oh, they're kind of like that. They're kind of like that Case men's team, and very similar to what the women have done as well. They, they've competed. They just haven't been able to close out or, or, respond to a team that makes a run. Case swings it left side to Tondo. <laughs> Ashley put up a three. It hit the rim. Popped straight up in the air. Came down. Hit it twice more, and then rolled in. Tondo hits three, and Case and Carnegie Mellon are tied at three. That ball may have been on the rim longer than it was in the air. So the Tartans work it against that Case defense. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Carnegie Mellon will keep the basketball. Allie Unkst will inbound it for the Tartans. Unkst looking for Stacey Aleski. Brings it into Hansen. Hansen's out near the timeline. Hansen with Beth Andrasik on her. They swing it left side. Rochelle Roll. Pops in a two just inside that three-point line. She's got her first two of the afternoon. It's 5-3 Carnegie Mellon. About three and a half minutes into this basketball game, 
Case works it right side. Kaitlin Henry ball above her head. Right wing to Tondo. Hands it back off to Henry. Top of the key now. They swing it left side to Andrasic. Works it in left block to Hollinger. Kicks it out to Atkins. Swings it right side to Tondo. Right block to Hollinger. Hollinger back to Tondo. Six seconds to shoot into Hollinger. Left-handed hook off the glass. Won't go. And down with the rebound for Carnegie Mellon is Rochelle Roll. Quickly down the floor to Hanson. Hanson right side. Stops. Pops off the glass, missed it. Ball knocked out of bounds off Carnegie Mellon. And Case will get the basketball back. <coughs> Throwback weekend here at Adelbert Gymnasium. Built in 1888. Case honoring Mather College. The women are honoring Mather. The men honored at Case Institute of Technology earlier today. Cutter is Ashley Tondo. Now it's Kristen Atkins. Atkins left block, shot off the glass, and good. Kristen Atkins with her first two. And Game's tied at five. And Kristen becoming a little more active on the offensive end. Played very good defense all season, but the last couple of games has shown that she can play on the offensive end. Three up in the air by Allie Unkst. That one was deep downtown in the far right corner. Her first three of the afternoon. It's 8-5 Carnegie Mellon. Tonda with the basketball, swings it in front of that Carnegie Mellon bench to Andrasic. Beth Andrasic, top of the key to Hollinger. Hollinger with roll on her, now left wing to Atkins. Atkins, ball above her head, 12 seconds to shoot. Nice feed inside to Tondo. Ashley got caught underneath the basket, couldn't quite make it. And Allie Unks comes over the rebound for Carnegie Mellon. Unks down to Hanson. Hanson at the foul line, dishes it off to Roll. Rochelle Roll, Ooh, air ball. High arching shot. And Case just threw it away in the backcourt. Carnegie Mellon's going to get it back. Coach Reimer wants a timeout. We'll take one, two. Case down three, eight, five, 15 5 left to play. Opening half. You're listening to Case Basketball on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. So Carnegie Mellon controls the basketball. They have a three-point lead. Five minutes gone in this opening half. Tartan's with it. Now in the game is Corey Innes. Innes just lost the basketball. Tondo stole it. Atkins controls off to Henry. Swing it left side to Tondo. Left baseline. Pulls back. Top of the key to Andrasic. Foul line. 15-footer. It's up, and it's good. Beth Andrasic with her first two. Case down a point. It's 8-7. 14.30 left to play opening half. Carnegie Mellon with the basketball. Jennifer Larson inside to Ennis. Shots missed. Ball's loose on the floor. Tondo comes up with it off to Andrasic. Andrasic down the floor to Caitlin Henry. Henry cross court pass to Tondo. Top of the key to Atkins looking into Hollinger. Now to Henry right wing and she traveled with the basketball. Caitlin Henry too many steps. Checking in for Carnegie Mellon. Jessica Buranowski. Bernofsky from McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania, 5'7 sophomore. So Allie Unks will get the ball and kick it back to her teammate Alex Hansen. Hansen, the point guard, will set the offense for Carnegie Mellon. Hansen off to Jackie Cortez. They work it inside, and they get a nice shot from Jennifer Larson, right block. Her first two of the afternoon, it's 10 7 Carnegie Mellon. Inside 14 minutes to play here. Tonda with the basketball for Case. Carnegie Mellon playing tough as advertised. And we got a whistle and a foul on the ball. Foul is on Alex Hansen, her second. The 5-2 point guard out of Westlake. Homecoming for Alex Hansen. Went to Lake Ridge Academy in North Ridgeville. Freshman. Starting point guard for Carnegie <coughs> Mellon. Inbounds pass for Case. Hollinger has it left wing in front of that Tartan bench. Drives left baseline, draws a double team, and the foul. She'll go to the line. She'll shoot two. Fouls on Jackie Cortez. That is her first, team third for Carnegie Mellon. You know, Aaron Hollinger had a very good Friday night. She won an 18 for the Spartans in the loss. Hollinger at the line, she'll shoot two. First one's up and it's good. She's had a great year. As a freshman, she has 
in 17 games, Ed, six times in 17 games, she's been the top scorer. She's averaging 11 points. She's got two so far this afternoon as she makes both free throws. Case down a point, it's 10-9. Allie Unks with it, right corner, drives right baseline, and she steps on the baseline out of bounds. Case will get it back. Nice defense, Ed, by Beth Andrasik. Well, often in here in the in a Delbert, you get that because there are many more lines on this court. And just the, the actual setting, the feeling of where you're at on the court is not the same as you would get over at the Veal Center. Aaron Hollinger with it, right wing, left-hand dribble, left block, shot up off the back of the rim, won't go. Unks comes down with a rebound. Here comes Carnegie Mellon. And Chelsea Peck now in the ball game for Case. Stacy Oleski with it. Top of the key to Jenny Larson. They work it inside. Shot off the glass. Missed by Carnegie Mellon. Jackie Cortez missed it. Pressure in the backcourt. Unks on Tondo. Tondo clears. Down to Caitlin Henry. Right wing. Henry cross court. Andrasic. 17 footer left baseline in and out. And Stacey Oleski down with a rebound. Oleski quickly down the floor. At half court. At the timeline. Top of the key now. Three in the air. Alley Unks. Back of the rim. No. Long rebound out to Carnegie Mellon. Tartan's control. Larson with it. Right wing. Now a three in the air in front of that case bench. Missed. Missed by Stacey Oleski. Long rebound out to Unks. Unks forces a shot up into the outstretched hands of Caitlin Henry. And Henry's going to draw the foul. Very slow start to the basketball game, Ron. Carnegie Mellon shooting four of 12 from the field, 33%. Case at 30%. They've hit three of 10. So the foul is on. Caitlin Henry, her first. At the line, shooting two will be Allie Unkst. Unkst, a 54% free throw shooter on the season. She hit a three to open the game. And she adds her fourth point as she makes the first one. Unkst, one of two freshmen that start on this Carnegie Mellon starting five. Case on the other side starts three sophomores, a freshman and a junior. Unk's second free throw is up, and it is also good. Kate Clancy in the basketball game for Case. She'll run the point. She's Ashley another Tondo. freshman. Mm. Quickly down the floor, it's Caitlin Henry. She goes the distance and lays it up and in from the left side. It's 12-11. Carnegie Mellon over Case. 12-19 left to play opening half. Top of the key, it's Unkst for Carnegie Mellon. Unkst works it inside to roll. Nice pass off of that to Jackie Cortez. And Cortez gets her first two from the left block. Carnegie Mellon up three, 14-11. Clancy, along with Peck, now in the game for Case. Henry with it left wing. Caitlin loses her dribble, loses her balance, and travels with the basketball. Turnover for the Spartans, their fourth in the first eight minutes of this basketball game. Henry had fallen to the floor on her hip, established that as her pivot point, and as soon as she rolled over, and there was the travel call. Oleski with Andrasik on her, crosses the timeline, top of the key to Ungst. Cortez now with it, right wing. Cortez, right baseline, drive, shot's blocked by Hollinger. Cortez gets it back, puts it back up off the glass, won't go. Peck and Clancy fight for it. Caitlin Henry comes up with it, double teams in the backcourt, breaks out of that, gets it down to Kate Clancy. Clancy left wing, top of the key now to Hollinger. Hollinger gets the ball picked by Stacey Oleski. Coming the other way with it for... Carnegie Mellon is Jessica Burnofsky. Burnofsky missed the shot. Here comes Hollinger the other way. Hollinger hands it off to Clancy. Steps back. Three in the air. Air ball. Ball's loose on the ground. Coming up with it. Underneath is Chelsea Peck. Missed the shot. And down with a rebound for Carnegie Mellon. Tied up in the backcourt. Beth Andrasik's going to pick up a backcourt foul. Jennifer Larson grabbed the rebound. And Andrasik grabbed her. So Andrasik gets her first. Substitutions for both clubs. Aaron Hollinger checks out along with Caitlin Henry. Checking back in for Case is Kristen Atkins and Ashley Tondo. Well, without Austin Howell available to play today, your rotations are going to be a little different for the Spartans. Only have about seven, maybe eight deep this afternoon. Oleski trying to work it inside to Rochelle Roll. Gets it into her. Traveled with the basketball, though. Turnover for Carnegie Mellon. Case 8 and 9 on the season. The Tartans of Carnegie Mellon 5 and 12. Both teams have played well in UAA play, but have only one total win to show for it. Rochelle Roll steps up and is going to get her 
first foul of the afternoon. Tondo had it out near the top of the key. Rochelle Roll stepped up for a double team and reached in and grabbed the foul. So Case will have it out. Andresic will do the honors for the Spartans. Chelsea Peck's in along with Kate Clancy. Andresic, Tondo, and Kristen Atkins. Tondo gets it right back to Andresic. Andresic right wing. Picks up her dribble. Looking. Goes inside. Nice defense by Rochelle Roll. Stepped in the passing lane. Deflected the ball. Controlled it. And Ashley Tondo the other way almost stole it back. Tondo knocked it out of bounds. Carnegie Mellon will keep it. They've got 26 seconds to shoot. Tartan's up three, it's 14-11. 10.26 left to play opening half. Three's in the air for Carnegie Mellon and it's good off the inbounds. Paige Williamson. Williamson with three and Carnegie Mellon Ed with her largest lead of the afternoon. They're up six, it's 17-11. Clay Clancy, top of the key to Andrasic. Andrasic to Kristen Atkins and really Case is not taking care of the basketball right now. Rochelle Roll stepped in the passing lane, knocked the ball out of bounds. Very easily, it could have been an interception and a turnover. Well, the passing is slow, and with that recognition coming from Carnegie Mellon, they'll be able to get back on defense, close up that gap. Some cases pull away a turnover, other times force Case to inbound the ball off the knockaway. So Tondo will inbound it to Chelsea Peck. Peck with it left wing to Kristen Atkins in the corner with a roll on her. Now far left wing with eight seconds to shoot. Six seconds to shoot. Tonda with the basketball top of the key. Oleski's all over. A ball fake. Gets it off to Atkins. Two, one. They're not going to get it off. Atkins did not get the shot off in time. Credit Carnegie Mellon with great pressure defense. Turnover by the Spartans. They're seventh. 9.49 left to play opening half. Case with some work to do. Down six at home on throwback weekend to Carnegie Mellon. Rochelle Roll with it, top of the key with Henry on her. Swing it left side, Paige Williamson hit a three a moment ago, Stacey Aleski tries a three, back of the rim, comes down into the arms of Kristen Atkins and here comes Case. Atkins off to Tondo, swing it left side to Peck, try to get it inside to Chelsea Peck, ball was knocked away, Peck controlled it and then threw it away trying to get it to Clancy. Here comes Carnegie Mellon, Williamson, left side, ball fake, steps up, 15-footer, air ball, and coming down with it is Tondo. Tondo with Carnegie Mellon chasing, almost picked in the backcourt, and then she picks up a foul. Carnegie Mellon, Colleen Light was chasing Tondo, reached in one too many times, she'll get her first foul. So Case will have it out, they're down six, it's 17-11, 9.05 left to play opening half. Checking in for the Spartans is Aaron Hollinger, an original starter, Hollinger checks in. She's got two points. Checking out is Chelsea Peck. Peck is scoreless off the bench. Inside nine minutes to play. Case with the basketball. Down six. Tondo, left corner to left wing. Caitlin Henry, three in the air. Left side, won't go. Rochelle Roll controls the rebound. Stacey Aleski now brings it down for Carnegie Mellon. Aleski with it, left wing. Right-handed dribble, dribbles back between the circles with Tondo on her. Back to the left wing to Roll. Now they work at top of the key to Colleen Light. Oleski, ball above her head in front of that case bench with Tondo on her. 10 seconds to shoot. Paige Williamson with it. Right of the lane. Right block shot off the glass. Won't go. Rolls around. Ball loose. Aaron Hollinger comes up with it for Case. Hollinger down the floor for the Spartans. Pulls back. Hands it off to Caitlin Henry. They swing it over to Tondo. Long three in the air. Side of the rim won't go. Atkins ball fake. Pass underneath to Aaron Hollinger. Shot off the glass and good. Nice recognition. Beautiful pass. Yeah, yeah. Kristen Atkins. Realizing where she was and how the double team was coming to her, found Aaron Hollinger on the weak side open for the layup. Case down four, eight minutes to play, opening half. Williamson with the ball right corner. She's trapped. They swing it all the way far left side. Now with it for Carnegie Mellon as the shot clock's winding down as Aleski. They work it inside, shot clock's at four, shots up and missed by Colleen Light. Tondo comes down with a rebound. Tondo clears for Case. Spartans down four with a chance to cut it to two. Tondo between the circles. Pick and roll. Nicely defended by Carnegie Mellon. Aleski comes up with it. Aleski to a cutter. Layup. Left-handed. Up and in. It was Paige Williamson over to Stacey Aleski. Aleski with her first two. And the lead's back to six for Carnegie Mellon. Carnegie Mellon, Coach Reimer told me, just sticks around. Kate Clancy gets an inside feed on the right block to Aaron Hollinger for Case, and Hollinger has her sixth point of the afternoon. 
and Case is sticking around. Down four, 19-15. Approaching the seven minute mark of the opening half. Stacey Oleski draws the defense. Kick it out, far right wing, three in the air, off the back of the rim, won't go. Caitlin Henry comes down with a rebound. And she also caught an elbow as she was bringing in the rebound. Henry off to Tondo, dribble, ball fake, goes in off the glass, missed it, but she was fouled. Fouls on the Tartans. Foul is on Paige Williamson, that is her first. Timeout on the floor, we'll take one, two. Tonda will be at the line, she'll shoot two when we come back. 6.44 left to play, opening half. Case down four on the Spartans Broadcasting Network. So Ashley Tondo is at the foul line for Case, a 73% free throw shooter. Her first shot is up and it is good. Tondo on the season averaging 14 points, six rebounds and four assists. Second one from the junior from McDonald missed. Hollinger down with a rebound, shot off the glass and in. Aaron Hollinger with a nice first half, she's got eight points. Case has crept back to a one point deficit. They were down six twice. Down, down one, 19-18. Carnegie Mellon with the basketball, Paige Williamson to the foul line. At the foul line on the left block is Jennifer Larson. We've got a travel turnover for the Tartans. <coughs> Fifth turnover for Carnegie Mellon. Case will get it back, Ed, with a chance to take a lead. When was their last lead? Well, for the Spartans, they have not led in the basketball game. So this would be their first. Aaron Hollinger with it, left wing. <coughs> Hollinger dribbles left baseline now. Nice move, lays it off the glass and in. Aaron Hollinger with 10. It's a 9-0 run for the Spartans. Case is up a point. It's 20 to 19. 5.59 left to play opening half. Kristen Atkins steps in the passing lane, steals the ball. Hollinger with it. Two on two break. Hollinger left block. Kicks it out to Sidney Berry. Shots in the air and it's good. <laughs> Sidney Berry hits a 12-footer and Case is on a roll. Carnegie Mellon wins the timeout. We'll take one, two. Spartans are up three. It's 22-19. We'll be back on the Case Broadcasting Network. Ron Yon said, Doherty along with you. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to play in the opening half. The men a winner in game one of the doubleheader this afternoon. And the ladies are up three in game two. So, Ed, it would be a, a beautiful afternoon on throwback weekend if Case can come up with two wins. Well, it's not often we see both teams win in the same afternoon. But looking at what Sean McDonald has on his side and the men's team and looking what the women's team has building as well, you can see that either the end of this year or into next year that there are going to be a lot more times when both teams are going to win games in UAA play. Next Friday and Sunday, Case will travel to Pittsburgh and Rochester. It's like a home and away series. This weekend, Rochester and Carnegie Mellon were here. Next weekend, it's... Off to Carnegie Mellon in Rochester. And Rochester. Tartans, Tartans with the basketball off the inbounds. Ali Unks got it. Put up a shot and made it. When you get that back-to-back -back in UAA play, it signals the, uh, the turn from the front half to the back half. 
Case is up a point, 22-21. Sidney Berry, another freshman for Case, now in the basketball game. Cross-court pass, Caitlin Henry. Three in the air, hard off the back of the rim, long rebound out to Paige Williamson. Carnegie Mellon controls, wearing their Cardinal uniforms, trimmed in black and white. Feet inside to <laughs> Stacy Cortez. She gets it in on the left block and makes it. And Carnegie Mellon now takes the lead, it's 23-22. Caitlin Henry with the basketball. Henry to Atkins at the foul line. Swings it left side. Hollinger from the baseline missed it. Barry fights for it. Tied up underneath. Possession arrow will go to Case. And the Spartans will keep the basketball. Checking in for Carnegie Mellon. Their starting center, six-foot senior Rochelle Roll from Ostrander, Ohio. And also back in, Colleen Light, a 5'7 senior from Colts Neck, New Jersey. Also a starter. Caitlin Henry will take a seat. And Ashley Tondo back in the game for Case. Tondo and Drasic, Sidney Berry, Aaron Hollinger, and Kristen Atkins. Nice give and go into Hollinger underneath. Shot was blocked by Roll. And Allie Unks comes up with it. Here comes Carnegie Mellon. Paige Williamson with the basketball. She'll cross half court. Williamson hands it off to Roll. Roll on the right wing. Try to get it inside to her teammate underneath the basket. And Jackie Cortez gets it, makes it, and draws the foul. Fouls on Beth Andrasik, that will be her second. So that timeout was well spent by Jerry Seidel of Carnegie Mellon. They were down a point heading into that timeout, and they're out on a 4-0, 5-0 run now. So what was an 11-0 run for the Spartans to take the lead, Carnegie Mellon has answered with six of their own. Jackie Cortez off the bench has seven points. She averages 10 off the bench this year, so she's a player. It is 26-22 as Case goes inside to Ashley Tondo from Hollinger, and Tondo gets a well-earned bucket on the right side. Tondo's got six. Case is down two inside four minutes to play. Left side, three in the air for Carnegie Mellon. Shots missed. Cortez, though, with a rebound underneath. Jackie goes up, missed it. Another rebound by Allie Unkst, and Unkst was fouled as she was shooting. Foul, I believe, will go on Kristen Atkins. It will be on Atkins. First team foul on Kristen Atkins, fifth team foul for Case. And at the line, Allie Unkst will shoot two. Unkst with seven points. She's two of two from the foul line this afternoon. She is a 54% free throw shooter. Unkst's first free throw is up hard off the back of the rim. She missed it. Jackie Cortez checks out for Carnegie Mellon out with seven points. Checking in is Jennifer Larson. Unks at the foul line, makes her second free throw. She's got eight. Case is down three, it's 27-24. 3.40 left to play, Hollinger with the ball, top of the key. Hollinger inside to Tondo, ball's tipped out of bounds. They say it went off of Tondo, and Carnegie Mellon will get the basketball back. Ten turnovers for the Spartans here in the first half. 27-24, Carnegie Mellon with the lead, 325 left to play opening half. Rochelle Roll with it, top of the key with Barry on her. Try to get it into Unkst, and Atkins is going to reach over the shoulder and pick up her second foul in the last minute. Inbounds pass for Carnegie Mellon under their own basket, inbound to Paige Williamson. They kick it off to Colleen Light. Top of the key now to Larson. Larson back to Light, right wing. 20 seconds to shoot. They work it under to Rochelle Roll. She clears it off to Williamson. Now Allie Unks, left wing, steps up, 16-footer. Rolls around, won't go. Beth Andrasik down with a rebound. Andrasik down the floor, left side. Left wing now back to Tondo. Shot off the glass, barely drew the glass. Almost was a total air ball. Ashley Tondo has struggled in this first half. Well, two of six from the floor. Two of seven. She's got six points. Carnegie Mellon working it under. Allie Unks with it. Shot off the glass, and it's good. Allie Unks is giving Case all sorts of trouble. She's got ten points. And that Tartan lead improves to five. It's 29-24. Hollinger out to Barry. Barry back to Hollinger in the key. Hollinger kicks it out to Andrasic, 18-footer. Short. 
Long rebound out to Aaron Hollinger. The freshman with a strong move off the glass left side, and it's good. Thank goodness for the freshman, Ed. She's got 12 points. Having a nice first half, 5 of 11 from the floor. Also with four rebounds, two assists. Case down three, 29-26. Nice feed to Rochelle Roll, right of the lane. Roll couldn't handle the, pa the, the pass, and Hollinger comes up with a loose ball. Hollinger off to Tondo. Tondo down to Atkins. Unks steps up, slaps it out of bounds. Case will keep it. They'll have it out under their own basket. <coughs> Sarah Milligan has checked into the basketball game for Case. Milligan, a 6'1 freshman from Canton McKinley High School. Case will inbound it. Milligan tried to get it to Hollinger. And climbing over the back of Hollinger was Jennifer Larson. Larson's going to pick up a foul. That'll be her first. Case now in the bonus. So Aaron Hollinger will shoot the one and one. So Hollinger on the season, a 62% free throw shooter. First free throw is up, and it is on the money, as everything has been for Aaron Hollinger in this first half. Two freshmen, two sophomores, and a junior on the floor for the Spartans. Hollinger's second free throw up, and this one is also good. So Aaron Hollinger with 14 points. Here comes Carnegie Mellon. Sydney Berry steps in the passing lane. Ball's loose on the floor. Milligan, Berry, Cortez to tie up. Possession arrow goes Carnegie Mellon's way, and the Tartans will keep it. Case down a point. It's 29-28. One minute, 42 seconds left to play opening half. Ball out underneath. They get it into Stacy Cortez, and she went up and she made the shot. Jackie Cortez. She's got nine. She'll look for 10 at the foul line. That would be her season average. Carnegie Mellon, five of seven from the foul line. Cortez trying to make it six of eight. It is up, and it is good. Okay, so get the inbounds. They're down four, 32-28. Up the floor to Beth Andrasik. She caught it with one foot in the front court and one foot in the back court. And they roll her over and back. So Carnegie Mellon will get the basketball back with a chance to increase their four-point spread. Stacy Oleski with the basketball between the circles with Tondo on her. Swings it right to Williamson in front of that case bench. Top of the key to Cortez. Back to Oleski, left wing. Oleski to Unkst, right wing. Three in the air. Boom. Allie Unkst coming off a screen. She's got 13 points. She's averaging six on the season. She's got 13 in the first half. Seven. Largest. Yep, seven is the largest this afternoon, Ron. 35-28, largest lead of the night. Sydney Berry drives in, makes a layup for Case. Nice body control from the freshman to be able to switch hands from the right to the left and lay it in. Case is down five, 55 seconds to go. First half, Carnegie Mellon with the basketball. Cortez with it. Ball above her head. Swing it left side to Williamson. Now to Unks, left corner. Right wing, Stacey Oleski, 16-footer short. Ball's loose. Oleski gets it in the corner, clears it out to Cortez. Cortez back to Unks. 34 seconds to shoot, 34 seconds left in the game. Stacey Oleski, ball above her head. Left side to Williamson. Try to get it inside to Cortez. Ball goes loose. Cortez saves it. Now to Unks. 10 seconds to shoot. Now to Oleski, dribbles in, put up a shot off the glass, didn't go. And Tondo comes down with a rebound. 11 seconds, 10. Tondo with it, right wing. Seven seconds, top of the key. Milligan will throw up a three. Hey, hey! The rookie off the bench, Sarah Milligan, the freshman from McKinley, hit it. Shot at the buzzer for Carnegie Mellon by Williamson, misses. And the Spartans head into the locker room at halftime, down two, 35-33.